till now you have learnt about the pie plot how you can put x and y labels to the plot you have also learned about formatting plot styles specifying axes in the plot and working with various marker options right in this section you will learn about title and legends in the plot so let's say this is a plot then title is basically the top heading which says about the plot right what is the title of a plot so basically the name of a plot and legends represent the components of a graph for example here legend 1 and legend 2 represent the two component inside a graph i hope you understand we are going to learn how we can add legends and title to the plot all the components of the pie plot will be covered by covering these two topics let's jump to the jupiter notebook or simply a notebook where we will learn how to put a title on the plot i have already marked the cell i'm going to work on title and legends in this section just one quick information you can run all of them together by a simple option and then restart and clear output will clear all the output and restart and run all will run all the cells so in case if there is any problem at any point of time you can do this so this is going to be super useful method and you can practice it all the time in case if you have any error during the execution so we'll restart and run all so that everything will be again initialize okay so it will run and execute all the cells in this section i am going to introduce you about another library of python which is again very popular that's numpy so numpy is basically a library for numerical computing all the mathematical operations can be efficiently handled using numpy there are various functions in numpy which we can use but in this topic i'm not going to talk about numpy just a little background that so that you understand about numpy and in case you wanted to know about numpy more you can visit numpy.org to learn about numpy so i'll be importing numpy import numpy as np and by the way you should have this numpy installed in your system you can install numpy with pip using this command pip install numpy right so you can use this one so i will just simply run shift enter it will run so numpy is now imported as np alias till now we were doing some boring stuff with the fixed data now this time we'll generate something uh using numpy so i'm going to use a lin space function of numpy so np dot lin space uh you should see the spelling correctly you should not write line space it is l i n and e is not there okay lin space and it will ask for two compulsory argument that is start point which i am giving zero end point let's say i'll give 10 and the third is optional if you give let's say i wanted to give 100 it will generate 100 points between 0 and 10 if i don't give 100 it will generate 50 points so 50 is by default in case you want to change you can change it even if you don't put this it will generate 50 data okay but for my convenience i wanted to put 100 i wanted to generate 100 data between 100 data points between 0 to 10 okay so i hope you understand and will run it now in case you wanted to see how the data looks like i can print the data and show you x data and i will execute this one and this is how we got the data from 0 to 10 and how many data 100 data right i wanted to plot three different uh, lines in the plot and we wanted to plot all those data against x x is already defined now let's create data y the first y data i want to create is let's say uh, we'll square this one right x data and power of 2 so i hope you understand this double asterisk is raised to power 2 okay so the first data is this one second i want to generate um, cube of this one so x data power 3 and the third one let's say uh x data and um, what should i do let's multiply with 2.5 just random plot i wanted to generate using all this data right so we'll run this so that y1 y2 y3 is also in the memory now so we have x and 3 y's okay 
So I'm going to plot all these three with respect to x. So how can I do that? Simple plt dot plot and then x data comma y1. This is the first plot and I'll just copy paste it three times and change it to y2 and y3. So till now there should not be any problem and of course we can also add uh, labels like plt dot x label and let's say label should be like uh, what's right number from 0 to 10 right in the x label and I'll just copy the same and I'll create y label just change it to y here and let's say this is various calculation various calculations okay and then we'll just simply display the data plt dot show okay good to go let's see what's the output okay so we have three decent lines with different color okay so are you wondering how the line color has been changed so this is some of the intelligence you can say that is having with pyplot so whenever you plot number of datas like more than one data the lines are automatically by default assigned with some default color on top of it definitely you can change the plot style so this new data we have generated and now we want you to put the title i'll show you how to put the title using plt.title this command in pyplot will allow you to put the title so let's say we'll put the title as three lines on the same plot right let's say you can put anything I wanted to put this and then plt dot show show and we are good to go execute this cell and here it is oh I'm sorry because this data has not been loaded as you have learned that this is state based protocol so we have to include the data as well because we are using plt again so we will include the data here and the same thing I just added this line and then we are trying to show and execute it so here it is x label y label and the title everything is in place right great you learned how to put the title this is a bonus tip I wanted to give you in case if you wanted to generate the title on the fly let's say during the programming you want to generate the title you can do so there is an option in Python called input which takes user input during the runtime so what I will do I will complete I will copy this line paste it here and now in case of giving this fixed title that is okay I'll copy these two line also and in place of giving this plt dot title as a fixed title I can prov I can create a variable called plot title you can create any variable as you wish and then we'll take input so this function will input a value from the user during runtime and I'll say input enter your plot title okay and this will ask the user for the plot title and the same title I wanted to put I want to display as a title of the plot so I will paste it here okay I hope you understand and when we execute this cell it asks for the title let's say this is runtime title okay and I hit enter as you can see the dynamic title is applied here so this was just a bonus tip so that you can also apply the title during the runtime now we'll look at the legends so as you know legends are just to represent what these lines are for there are two ways of representing a legend on the plot so the first way is I'll copy this one because I don't want dynamic title every time I will copy this one paste it here now uh, we have x label y label and title now we wanted to put the legends for these three data 
so first way is directly call legend function so plt dot legend and then this legend should be passed in list so we'll create a list and say uh, let's say um, the first data was about a square a square and the second one was a cube third one was multiply by 2.5 right that's it you just have to define this one and you are good to go your your legends is ready I mean plots legends is ready and then you can execute this one. great so you learned how to create legend using the first method but generally this is not preferred because if you change the position of this one this square represents the first plot that is x and y1 the cube represents x and y2 the multiply by 2.5 represents x and y3 but if you change the position here let's say you put the cube at the end so cube will be assigned for y3 anybody can make a mistake uh, so the best way would be to assign a label with every plot so that there will not be any confusion that this legend belongs to which plot right we will see a best robust method so in that method we'll just copy everything control c and control v and we will delete this line because i don't want not i will delete i will just put i'll just keep it as empty plot dot legend right and here i'll put label equal to square same thing i will copy it here paste i'm sorry paste it and then we'll say cube and again i'll paste it here and say I will say multiply by 2.5 oh sorry 2.5 okay now this ensures that the data is correctly labeled say like for example now legend cannot be misinterpreted this label is for this particular square and it is bounded it cannot change throughout the program so after specifying the label call this function plt.legend and then plt.show so now we are good to go the same result will be there you can verify we'll just hit enter shift enter and see so blue is for square and orange is for cube and green is for multiply right the legends has been assigned for all these plots correctly and this is the most preferred method because there is no confusion in case if you have more than 10 lines or 10 plots right i would also recommend you to use this method now one more thing that you can do with the legend is you can also change with the position let's say i wanted to uh, plot this legend uh, to the center let's so we can pass it as a location loc equal to you can say center right now this legend will be displayed at the center so we'll just execute and we'll see the legends are placed at the center and there are various possible positions so you have best which takes care of where to put the uh, legends automatically and then remaining like upper right left center right lower center and various options are there you can play with them you can also use the location code in case if you are not familiar but i think string is better option because it gives a clear sense of where you are putting the legends after creating the legends you can also play with the formatting as usual like for example okay i'll just copy this code placed it here and I wanted to play with uh, the line formatting right so let's say I'll format this line by saying minus R so dashed line with red color uh, I'm sorry and then let's say second one with uh, second one with let's say dash solid dash with green color and I'll just leave it as as it is so that all three looks in different way and now if we run we can see here that uh, the lines has been formatted you have seen earlier right so you know how to format the lines in case not then revisit the last tutorial in this lesson so the last thing I would really like to discuss about is how you can also change the line width so line width means 
let's say you wanted to make the green bold more bolder right so green label is this one so i can also specify line width right equal to let's say four this green line become more solid right let's see and as you can see the green become more prominent so the line width of green like the second data is changed from the default to four right so these are all options and i hope that you can play with all these uh, options that you have learned in this chapter and you can create a pretty decent graph for your application in this section you have learned about creating a plot which has more than one line you have also learned about adding a title you have learned two method to add legends to the plot and how you can change the location of legends you learned about adding various line style or line formatting as well as you also learn to play with the line width so that's it for lesson 2 we have covered six modules in lesson 2 thank you for joining with me in this session now i will see you in the lesson 3